mental health illnesses are treated in a variety of ways. Treatment plans are tailored to each individual patient. In this Heart of the Valley report, Channel 5's Carolina Cruz explains how the different treatments really boil down to how each person's brain reacts to medication. Ginger Castro knows what it's like living with a mental illness. She also knows the impact treatment drugs have had on her life. <laughs> Voices and false ideas fill Ginger Castro's uh, thoughts. That gives me hope. She suffers from depression and schizophrenia, among other mental illnesses. One of the things that sucks about mental illness um, is that it's not a physical, phys physically evident, so people that aren't mentally ill just can't un seem to understand it. Castro didn't understand what her mental illnesses meant at first either. I didn't always feel this way. Um, but when I was 24, after I had broken up with my ex-boyfriend, uh, maybe one or two months later, I started hallucinating. Castro started educating herself after her diagnosis. Psychiatric mental health clinical nurse specialist Hilda Solis breaks down the misconception related to mental illnesses. People don't realize they go through, through life feeling depressed, anxious, uh, psychotic even. I've had patients who have been psych psychotic since they were children and they never told anybody and they were afraid to tell anybody and if they told anybody they just said oh you know it's just make-believe things. So Lee says the brain should be treated just like any other organ. If something seems off, see a specialist. Local doctor Jose Goa treats Castro. He's practiced medicine for over 30 years. During that time he's seen the evolution of treatment drugs and the impact they've had on his patients. Instead of being placed in the state hospital, um, you know, now they are a part of the community, they are part of their families. So uh, I think it's been remarkable I mean, in terms of the newer medications. Uh, we're getting newer and newer medications almost every, every year. Dr. Igoa says treating the brain is tricky. You're treating the physical organ, but affecting the intangible thoughts. He says new technology allows doctors to pinpoint areas within the brain that respond to medical treatment. Now we can do an MRI and we can look at the structure of the brain, but even better, we can have functional uh, scans, you know, that actually look at the function of the brain. Igoa says medication is radioactively infused into the brain that allows doctors to see exactly which parts of the brain experience a reaction. There are chemical changes, you know, everything what we see through our eyes is a chemical reaction that translates into a, a, neur a neuronal kind of transmission, you know. The same thing with our thoughts, uh, the same thing with our feelings, you know, it happens, everything happens in the brain. Igoa says mental illnesses don't easily go away. Once developed, patients will most likely continue living with the condition or relapse periodically. Castro takes daily medication to avoid relapse. Just keeping me sane overall, you know, with all the, without all the crazy thoughts mm -hmm. that'll come into my head. Well, yes, are we New sure? treatments replace the daily pill Castro takes. One alternative includes less frequent injections. Uh, we have not only pills, but we have injectable, what we call long-acting injectables. That can go anyway from two weeks to three months. Treatment drugs, including those new injectable medications, come with side effects. Dr. Igoa says those side effects are taken into consideration when treating patients. Castro says she's noticed the side effects of a prescribed drug before. And when I was at the Rio Grande State Center, I was um, taking the meds, and uh, they do kind of like, they do work for your mind, but sometimes they make you feel sluggish. Apart from the side effects, Castro says the impact the medication has had on her life is overwhelmingly positive. Oh, she no you. longer experiences yeah, irrational thoughts. Exactly she credits the treatment she receives. Treatment drugs are one of the methods used to help patients. The drug helps eliminate symptoms of the mental illness, providing stability for those who use them. In the studio, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News.